Hi everyone, hope you're doing well today. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a Best Top Super Top on a 1965 Jeep CJ5. Here's the corner brackets that go on the back of the tub, the hardware, the door hinges, and the rest of the hardware is actually on the top itself. I'll show you how all this goes together. So come along with me, let's get to it and get it bolted on. Here's the Jeep that the top is going on. This is my 1965 Jeep CJ5. Um, if you've been watching the channel at all, it's nothing new to you, but here we have these brackets that I have installed already. Um, these are what the, uh, the cross pieces will come across for the, uh, the corner of the top. And it'll tie into this right here. I did have to drill some holes and enlarge some holes uh, in the tub. Now, a lot of these holes were here uh, from previous owners. Um, I never actually filled them, but I used some of them and, and enlarged some other ones. But here's the first corner bracket. That's going to sit on the tub just like this. And we'll bolt that down. And that gives us this little lip here for the corner of the top to clip up into. So let's get that bolted down first. On to the other side. Okay, got our rear corners on this side and this side. This piece here will go on the side here, right like so. And it will line up with these holes on here. And this is your striker for your door when it goes shut, the actual door latch system. So let's get this bolted down. I guess just take a quick minute here and show you how these work. This here is designed to go up under the under the rail of the tub, and then this goes back down through the hole. And that, that little nut cert goes up in this rail, up in under underneath here, and the bolt goes right down through it. Pretty slick. Alrighty, there we go. This side is on, let's go to the other side. As you can see, these, these will get bolted down through the actual tub, through this rail, and through the striker. This is what your door hits when you go to close and it latches on the striker. Now, you can see there's, these are a little um, oblong here, or um, open here, so what you can actually do is loosen them up and slide this in and out. If your door's not uh, closing or opening and closing correctly, you can take your adjustments right here by sliding this back and forth, and that will let your door open and close smoother. You can fine tune the adjustments there. So we'll just take this striker, let it sit there, take our nut cert, whatever you want to call this thing, put it up under the tub rail, let's put your bolt right down through. It's that easy. Done. As you can see, I have the striker mounted. I have the rail mounted, the back corner rail mounted, this corner rail mounted, all the way up to this striker here. So now let's go ahead and grab the top assembly, the bows and everything, and start mounting that up. Up here and it'll clip right into the channel of the windshield frame. You 
you can see that here's the holes as you slide this guy up this here will actually hook into those and uh, it's easier to do this on a day like today when it's probably about 80 degrees and the top is sitting out in the sun for a while and it's nice and warm and pliable uh, you want to hook the front end first into this channel it curls back on itself it goes the whole way across and then I come back here and I hook these in next into these little hook these little corner trims these little corner pieces and then make sure your your bow is actually placed and still in place here and then start standing it up and that'll this here as you push this up higher and higher it puts more pressure back here and picks your top up in the air but as you can see the hard part is done the top is starting to take shape now we'll take these guys here and these are just velcro and it just sticks back over onto itself just like so same for the other side just like that as you can see these bows are actually two pieces they just get pushed together there and back there and as it's going together, your top actually snaps onto the back bow here at each location on each side. And the padding here is for your window. The padding here is what pushes up on your top right here to give it that, give it its uh, nice tight feel. So now we've got the top starting to take shape. Let's move on to putting the windows in. Figure I'd show you here on this window as the uh, as the zipper gets started. What I do is I come down here, and if you can see, there's a channel. You take this, if I can do it with one hand, and you get it started, and that's what gives your window its support there. It goes right into that channel right there, and then I move on to down here. I clip the bottom of the window up underneath. Okay, get this started and just work it back in that channel the whole way back to there and then meet up this zipper slide this around it's just a mix of um, pulling things around so you get it set the exact way and just uh, keep working it till you get the zippers all lined up and, and all put together all right so here you can see the top coming together this was a used top off of craigslist um, so it's not brand new but it's a whole lot cheaper than buying a whole new super top it's in good shape uh, windows are pretty clear but anyway, you can see it's all put together. On the back here, I got it all zipped in. I have all the all the edges clipped up in. And on here, on my tailgate, I do have the little snaps here. And that's all snapped on. There was a little tear in the top when I bought it. Just put a little bit of uh, clear tape on there. It, it works just fine. But now we got the top all finished up. Let's go ahead and move on to the doors. Let's take our pins right here and slide them into the hinges right here. And just like that, the door is on. Now we can adjust this, these hinges a little bit and adjust this striker to get this to seal just right, but looks good. Awesome. Now these doors are a two-piece design. This will unzip and roll up and get snapped right here. Or you can undo the Velcro and literally pop her off of there. So then you have half doors. One of the pluses of the super tops. So there you have it. There's the install of my used best top super top on my 1965 CJ5, on in time for winter and for fall. If you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.